In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Pottery Barn Christmas centerpiece dupe. From Dollar Tree, I'm going to be using three of these puzzles and these you can find them in the kids department where they have all the toys. Now the reason that I chose this is because the back side is made up of some sort of wood. So I love this because I'm able to stain it which is what I'm going to be able to do with this piece of wood. So I'm going to be using three of these. So once you remove the wrapping, all the puzzles, they come out. So what I'm gonna have to do is glue them down so they can stay put. I've used these wood puzzles before in the past in other projects and I absolutely love to use these because they are made of real wood. And so you can do so many things with the backside of this puzzle. I'll go ahead and link some of those videos that I've used these before down below in the description box. I'll be doing the same thing to these two puzzles. And so what I've done here is I've placed them side by side and what I'm gonna do now is glue them down and I'm gonna be using some Gorilla Wood Glue. So I'm gonna start gluing my sections together and I'm gonna start with the middle section. I'm gonna add some glue along the side and then join the pieces together. Now, once I have glued them down, I'm gonna go ahead and use some painter's tape so they can stay together and not move until the glue dries. And I'll repeat the same steps to the other side. I'm gonna let this dry for 24 hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it turned out. Now what I did is I added some wood filler because it had cracked there a little bit and also in the seams I went ahead and I added some of that wood filler because I wanted it to be nice and smooth. So this is what I did but I did this off camera. I didn't want this video to be too long. I wanted this to be a quick video and just show you what you can do with these pieces of wood. I'm going to be using some Waverly Antique Wax and I'm going to use this as a stain. So I'm going to pour a little bit in a pan and then I'm going to add some water to it and then I'm going to mix it up and just water it down really well. And now I'm just going to brush it on with this sponge brush. Because the wax is too watered down, it's too watery, so I'm gonna be using a cloth to wipe off the excess wax. The reason that I chose to use the wax to use as a stain is because it doesn't have any odor as the stains tend to have, and so it's safer to use indoors, so this is why I chose the wax. I'm gonna give this a few hours until it dries. And this is how it turned out. Now I had started in the morning and now this is the afternoon. It's been like maybe five hours and this is how it looks. Now I wanted to show you these really beautiful Christmas trees that Dollar Tree has. And I purchased only three because that's all they had. I love the little round wood they have as a stand. It makes them look very high end. You wouldn't even believe that these are from Dollar Tree. Anyhow, I'm going to be using a gold, silver, and green. And I'm also going to be using these package ones that Dollar Tree carries in a pack of two. I'm going to be using about six packs. I'll be using the white and also the green. So I'm gonna start hot gluing these Christmas trees that have the little wooden round stand. And once that I'm done gluing these down, I'm gonna start adding the smaller trees. So what I'm doing here is just marking off where I'll be putting the rest of the trees. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the packaged little Christmas tree and I'm gonna remove the plastic stand that it has and all you have to do is just pull it right off and here it is. Next, I'm gonna take my electric drill and I'm gonna drill a small hole, big enough to where the little stem from the tree will fit in. Once I'm sure that the little tree will fit in the hole, I'm gonna add some hot glue, just a dab, and then put the tree right back in the hole. And basically, that's all that I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna continue the same steps as I continue adding the remainder of the trees. Once 
Well, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day. And remember, love, laugh, and create. Until my next video, bye-bye and God bless.